this is Spencer Taylor. Spencer Taylor has discovered. Let me see if I can see that. What have you discovered? I have discovered a rough skin newt. A rough skin newt. So what can you tell us about rough skin newts? Well, obviously you can. As you can see, these little guys have muscles. <laughs> they got lots and lots of muscles, and they know how to climb. Very interesting. Also, so, is also, that a lizard or what is that? It's a it's a salamander amphibian. It, well, I said newt, but it is a uh, amphibian. It's not a salamander. It may look like a lizard, but it's not a lizard. Uh, like most like most uh, amphibians, they don't have scales. They have smooth uh, sm from smooth to bumpy skin. Huh. And can be very 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 poisonous. Like this little guy, he can kill a man if I lick him. <laughs> Or you need to look at my fingers. So that's why I'm washing my hands after this. Huh. So they're very poisonous, and that's probably a good way for them to not get eaten, because they're not terribly fast. Yeah. Well, this one's kind of fast. And you can swim fast, huh? Yeah. They, they're, they like, awesome swimmers, but you catch them by surprise, they'll just like, Oh, no. It's game over, man. Game over. So those are amphibians, not reptiles. So they're more closely related to frogs than they are to lizards, even though they look kind of like a lizard. Yeah. So the reason why this guy is so horribly poisonous, this is one of the most poisonous elementers, why are we letting it in our hands? Because we can wash our hands, but you wouldn't want to put, you wouldn't want to eat this. Or lick it, like some of our core members like to eat lick slugs. Yeah, but we won't be licking this elementer because it's terribly poisonous. And the reason why it's so poisonous is because it doesn't want to get eaten, especially by garter snakes. Well, the red sided garter snake actually, which is the main like predator for this guy, because the red sided garter snake is in a... Uh, Evolutionary arms race against these guys. Um, evolutionary arms race. So how does that work out? Um, basically, an evolutionary arms race is like when you have a predator that's going after you. Some animals adapt to their poison and or get poisonous just to kill them. So the so you're saying the garter snake is resistant to this elementer's poison? Well, yeah, yeah. At some point in their evolutionary process, we should still keep on going because this snake keeps on getting more poisonous every day. Oh. Uh -huh. Like the gar like some gar snakes die, die either die from it or just come really sick from eating one of these newts, or they just become totally resistant at, at all, and the, and thus the evolutionary signal, which is invisible to us all, it makes these guys evolve and become extremely more poisonous. All right, yeah, you dry now, bro. So, yes, we do pick up salamanders, but we are very very careful and we always let them go so the garter snakes getting more resistant to the poison yes they do and then the salamander is getting more poisonous and i heard that a garter snake that's totally resistant is brighter in color like signifying that or signaling that it is more resistant to the poison but these guys keep getting more and more poisonous yeah but uh uh, also, uh, while we're talking about the red gar red sided gar snake, which is the one main predator for these newts, hmm. the the way you can tell that they get the color get brighter, brighter is by the red sides on the gar snake. It get it's on their flank side and it goes down to like all the way down their body, just hmm. all the way down. And the brighter the color is, it'd be like a super bright red at one point. Hmm. And I wouldn't recommend if you're out out in the wild you, and you try to eat this animal. I believe I think they have also when they ingest to toxins, they kind of get toxic. Hmm. Like they probably have like toxic blood. So it might not even be a good idea to eat the garter snake. All right. Hmm. Down creek, go my own way. There he goes. Walking down the creek. He said, "I don't need to be fast. I'm poisonous. The only thing I'm worried about is garter snakes." So there he goes. So these guys, they lay their eggs in the water, and then they have a larval stage in the water, and they're always kind of tied to the water, and they even mate in the water, and um, they like clean creeks with lots of shady habitat, so let's protect our creeks, people. Let's not pour a bunch of pesticides in there, herbicides, oil, that kind of stuff. Cause, or spit chew it. Or chew spit, <laughs> because these guys, they take the water, they have thin skin, and the water you know, the poisons can travel right into their bodies and they die. And that's why amphibians are disappearing all over the world. And you can go to savethefrogs.com, savethefrogs.com, to learn more about how you can help amphibians. You can also go to conserveitforward.com, 
Avalon Thiessen. She's like 12 years old now, I believe. She started the group when she was nine, and she also works to save frogs and so and amphibians. So you can learn a lot. Ooh, you're not very coordinated. Like so, um, so you can learn more at conserveforward.com or savethefrogs.com how you can help amphibians.